Greetings and welcome to another excellent World of Tanks video. I have a killer come from behind victory here that's going to blow your mind. I mean, it's so good I have like another really good victory. It was like, it's just a regular win. Nah, I'm not going to show that. Because when this game happened, I was thinking, uh, yes, this is a video. It's a no-brainer. It's fantastic. So, make sure you tell your friends. Especially if you know some people who need to improve and they need to learn how to win. This game is a classic example of showing how to win the game. So, now that I've mentioned that to you, check out my videos that are upcoming. I got a bunch of videos upcoming. At least one Halloween video every week until Halloween of 2025. Right now I'm up to February, but I'm going to be adding more, you know, as, as the days go by. So now, let's get to the action and believe me, you're going to enjoy this one. It's a little bit longer, about eight and a half minutes of game action. And it's just unbelievable stuff. So let's get to it. Welcome to Severogorsk. All right, I'm in artillery as you can see. What do we have here? Well, the main guy to look out for oh, there we go. is bad guy, Matilda. Spoiler alert, all right? She's important and I'm important. The rest of them, not so much. Okay, so I'm over here as artillery. Duh, I hang back defense. Perfect because I'm a master of defense. Now, I'm telling you that up front here that you're going to watch it happen in front of your face. What I'm trying to do primarily in artillery, especially on this map and on this position, is to get shots of opportunity. Now, most of the time, you'll see artillery go up to the corner, Alpha Zero, sometimes Bravo 9 or Bravo 0, or even Alpha 9. I'm like, you know what? Eh. I'm good. I look at my I look at my crew. I got a wall of guys. So I'm gonna get a little closer. And I'm here at uh, you know the Bravo Charlie 9. Solid position. I got some trees knocked down. Give me some uh, camouflage. But I got plenty of dudes between me and them, so I'm not really paranoid or afraid of guys rolling up on me. At least in this moment. No roll up on me later. So here, I'm artillery, I'm looking for shots of opportunity to help my team knock out guys. I can damage him, but can kill him. I don't care. I play to win first. The scoring, if it happens, that's fine. It happens from time to time, and it gets pretty nasty. Spoiler alert, nasty game. That's not what I'm doing. I'm playing this game to win as my top priority. Now, I want to qualify for a long haul as my second priority, top seven, which is great. If I can score beyond that, that's a total bonus for me. I don't have anything to prove. I like making videos where I kick butt. I'm not a liar. But this game is so awesome. It's a win-win for me, but I don't just come out here and go, oh, I, got, I had a great game where I had a three kill win. Okay, I'm going to make it a video of that. It's a special regular shot. And I don't want to be used out there to stroke my own weakness. That's nothing to do with it. Right? I play great games all the time with my friends. Good things for our team. Not really what I need to say, video worthy. I need video worthy moments to make it worth your while. This would be more than worth your while. Now, right now, what have I done? One tip. My other boy, Mad, uh, Mad Dad, he hasn't done that. It's not good. I'm like, dude, we're losing. Okay, 12 to 4. By the way, I have come back 12 to 4 
now it's worse. Jesus. I knew it was nine to two. I didn't realize that this one does qualify as the greatest comeback deficit that I've ever been a part of. My previous greatest one was with my buddy Longway. We were 12 to 4 down. That was in our so I'm in our cell right here. Kind of stuck. I don't have both communication for whatever reason. So, you know, really that. I'm like, I'm going to stay here for I'm telling you. Barely slide into the end of the game. Now, 
we're not going to do it, but it seems it doesn't do it. On my day, we're actually but as you can see here, we're blue, they're orange. We're winning. This is a glitch that happens. So, uh, you know, it's going to say victory again. We did make, I did everything to give him the opportunity, cash that opportunity, got to the base, and finished it off. Jackpot, we win. All right. This is the greatest comeback I've ever had in this game. We were down, and you all saw it, 12 to 2, jackpot. Outstanding. Score it, baby. Sorry. Score like football. So there's me, you see, and BB, because I was here three. Bad dad, killer score. Now I score it bad. Also nasty on offense. Did everything you could do. Kill five guys just like me. You do what you can do. It's not a comparison. And I sent him a message, you know, that he had a great game. That go, you know, it was him on offense, you know, pressing to their base. Me on defense, defending my base, killing guys. So what we did was just like football. You don't just win with one side of the ball in football. You have an offense and you have a defense. Well, he was quarterback of our offense, okay? I'm basically middle linebacker of my defense. I was MVP. I'm a Tier 3 artillery with monster damage. He is a Tier 4 Matilda with very good damage. So it's not a question of, you know, anything other than that. You both did the best you could do, and the best we could do was I defend the base, hold off the guys as long as possible, and he gets to the base and cashes touchdown style, all right? So tremendous job by Bad Dad. Hope you're watching this game, man, because you played fantastic. It was not obvious because I was there by myself and you guys saw what I was doing. Okay, so here we are at the MVP end of game screen, and let me tell you, Super jackpot. I knew it was a great game, but I did not know that it was my greatest comeback ever. So, that was a shock that I learned just by making the video. As you saw, 5 kills, 2280 damage. It was monster, okay? Because they just kept coming, man. It was just crazy. Now, uh, Sexton Artillery is one of my best tanks, and you see why I say that. 81% silver bonus, 90,000 silver in one day for a tier 3 premium. It's nasty. 11,000 commander points because the more damage points you do, the more commander bonus you end up getting. I don't have a bonus multiplier on this because it's n normally not really a good deal for me to do that. If I had a times 4, uh, that would be almost 50,000. Okay? I just roll regular. Again, I have not gotten the seventh skill on the commander at this time. That happens in later games. But, a super fantastic match. Couldn't have been literally any better for me unless I would have somehow not died from that cruiser who butchered me. Okay. So here we go. Duelist. Kill two or more guys that damage me as they attack my base. Check. Right? This is a Gore's medal. 2,000 damage in an artillery. All right? Exceeding force and, and, and also damage exceeding four times my hit point. Check. Bruiser. Damage enemy crew and or module. Check on that. Show, uh, fighter. Kill four more guys. I got five, so let's check. Do the most damage in the game. I caliber. Outstanding. Only a second class badge for what I did, but I'm not complaining. I already have an ace. I have multiple ace mastery badges in this tank. That wasn't the deal. As I mentioned in my videos quite often, I play number one to win the game. We did that. Number two, do the best to help my team. I did that with five kills defending my base. Anytime I do anything bonus, my damage is nasty. That's third on the list, jackpot for me. So let's go check out the scoreboard. And this is Bad Dad. You know, if he hadn't done much 
all of his cashing was at the, you know, near the end of the game, when it matters the most. I got five, as you saw, he got five. That means 13 other guys on the team combined together to also get, actually they didn't get five kills, we didn't kill them all. They killed two guys. You see this guy killed one, and this guy killed one. The other three guys were still alive. He and I took a beating, all right? He took slightly less of a beating than I did and lived. I took the full beating and died. But, you know, I sacrificed myself for my team because that's the only way we could win was that, you know, doing that and then essentially turning the ball over to the offense and hope that the offense can score, which he did, and it was a great job. Really fantastic job. Man. So I hope you guys enjoyed that monster, and I do mean monster, comeback. It was a tremendous victory. I, I mean, I thought we're screwed, dude. These guys are idiots. We have no chance. But, I, you know, there's always, you know, as long as you're alive, keep scoring, whatever. Do the best you can, right? Well, and as I'm making the video, it's when I saw, oh, my God, it's 12 to 2, really? Unreal. Just absolutely unreal. And I'm lucky that it happened. And I had, you know, realized it was a great win when I thought it was a 9 to 2 victory. And I sent messages to my boys saying, here's a picture, you know, 9 to 2 comeback. So I'm going to be, send another message go, uh, actually it was 12 to 2. I got to, you know, fix that. And I have a video of that here on YouTube as you saw. So what can I say? I already told you, I sent uh, Pat Dad a congratulations message on doing a fantastic job running the offense, you know, and cashing in what my defense was able to give him. So I'm good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you learned something. Tell your friends you have never seen this before. I know I haven't. And I played this game for 10 years, since day one, actually. So real pleasure to have you guys here and view the masterpiece that I unknowingly created or had a hand in creating. So I look forward to seeing you guys again in the future. Check out my upcoming videos as well. And as always, like and subscribe. <laughs>